Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my cute little pen box. So I'm not going to undo this bow because as you know it takes forever to do them back up but I can show you and reassure you that inside is a beautiful pen. Now this is a pen that I managed to get with some of my points that I earned from stamping up and um, shopping with them and people shopping with me etc. Um, it's just a little bit like um, Tesco Club Points or um, Nectar Club Points if you like and you get to choose from various items um, and there's some beautiful pens and I am a bit of a stationary holic so yeah so I went with the pens but they're lovely. Um, so inside here is simply a pen um, but I'm going to show you how to make it and then you'll see what the inside looks like and you'll have to apologise for my dog, she's telling me off yet again that she wants to get up on the bed um, but I started filming before she told me that so it's too late <laughs> so I'm going to be doing all of my work on my trimmer that's simply because I'm using some strange sizes here and I don't want to mess them up um, and try and get it done on my trimmer so I'm going to start off by making the insert to the box so this is seven and a half by two inches, which is 19 by five centimeters. And we're gonna score all the sides at half an inch or in centimeters, it will be one and a half centimeters. And as I said, we're literally just gonna do, let me put this arm out because it makes it a little bit easier. So half an inch on all of the sides. Daisy, you'll have to wait a minute. She's so impatient. So half an inch on all of our sides, pop this to one side for a moment and then I'm just going to fold and burnish all of our score lines and this is rich razzleberry that I'm using at the moment, um, part of the Peaceful Poppies colour series suite, um, it's lovely. Now with this, um, as you would know, if we were making a box, we'd be cutting these corners into tabs, cutting wedges out. I'm not doing any of that today. I am simply cutting them away completely. So each corner just completely away. Good girl. You have to wait, Daisy. She's come in now, sat looking at me with those big eyes, making me feel really guilty. <laughs> Aren't they clever at doing that? So this is my insert, so as you can see it's going to sit in the base of my box like this. But obviously I need something to adhere my pen to. Um, and so um, back in with my crocodile, as I say, I have kind of fallen in love with this a little bit. Um, one eighth of an inch circle punch, which I've actually, uh, that's embarrassing, but I've only just <laughs> noticed that that's written there. Um, as I said, I am a bit of a novice with this. It is a new toy for me, um, but I have actually used it two or three times over the last couple of weeks, um, and it's becoming quite um, a definite piece of kit that I needed in my craft room, so I'm glad I got it. Okay, so next thing I want to do then is just create some holes just in the centre for my pen. So I'm measuring this, and it is just over six, so for argument's sake, I'm going to go with an equal gap either side of my ruler here and I'm just going to mark the centre position and then I'm going to get my ruler so I now know roughly where I want my holes to be punched can you see those marks so I'm going with the smaller of the two and due to the lighting I need to twist and play with this a little bit because I can't quite see that pencil mark. Where is it? There it is. So I've just used my crocodile there just to create those two holes. Not exactly straight, but straight enough for me. Whisper White Baker's Twine. And then through the back of those holes I'm just going to feed this through, oops, feed this through there we go and then simply pop my pen 
in its place and then just tie a cute little bow over the top to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm not too concerned about that bow looking pretty because it is really just there to, to hold my pen in place. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that to one side now because now I want to do the base. So my base is eight and a half by three and one sixteenth. Yes, that's why I needed to use this and not my scoring tool. Um, and we're simply going to score at one inch on all sides. So in centimetres, it will be 21 by 7.2 and you're going to score at 2.5. Now, trust me with these centimetre scores because I did actually make up the um, box in centimetres and ensured that everything fits snugly because I wanted it to be right because it's no good me making it guessing the measurements and then it all being wrong so I did make it up in centimetres to check that it was right it is slightly slimmer um, I don't know if I still have it actually in my bin I know that sounds awful but um, I do I'm sure it is still in here I do uh, make up here it is I found it I do make up um, occasionally mock boxes um, to make sure things fit so obviously it's random paper although actually it goes quite well together um, but as you can see this is actually a little bit slimmer than, than the uh, inch sized one so that's roughly how much it is just a fraction um, so yeah so I did make it up in centimetres just to make sure it worked Okay, so the base of the box, as we know, is going to be a box. So we're going to cut these four corners into tabs by cutting out these wedges in the corners. I apologise if there's a bit of a shadow as well today. It's, it's not stopped raining since maybe half past eight, quarter to nine this morning. Um, it's now early afternoon and yeah, it's just been raining non-stop. So it's quite dark and dreary out there. Which is why it's nice to be in my craft room today, out of the way of it. Okay, so this is our base. We've now cut these edges down. What we do need to do is just take a smidge off each one because they are a touch too long for that part of the lid. And then we're just going to add some adhesive. Now, I did use wet glue. Get me. Not my tear and tape. I used wet glue. Okay, so obviously we're now going to put these whoops onto this part here. And the nice thing about this being so slim is that one peg will hold, she says, will hold both pieces in place. Yes, is the downside with wet glue is that it just wants to keep moving. Okay, so same again here. I'm just going to use a peg to hold that just while I tuck this one in. And then just make sure it's square. Pop that peg on. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that for a moment to dry whilst we do the lid. So I'm using DSP for this one and my lid is 8 and 1 8 by 2 and 5 8 20.3 by 6.3 centimetres. We're going to score this one at 3 quarters of an inch on all sides, which is about 2 centimetres. So 3 quarters of an inch. Whoops on all sides super pretty DSP isn't it just so so pretty right trim her out the way now and as you know we're doing exactly the same again with this lid exactly the same fold oops, burnish and then 
cut our wedges. You don't need to trim any off this length though because these actually do fit. So cutting those little wedges out. I like it when it's something repetitive and easy so that you can see how easy it is to go and how easy it goes together as well. Okay, so box done the same as well. Look, both ends cut down. I'm going to use some snail on this one. So I'm going to do one end first. So pop that one on there and that one there. And then going to take these pegs off that are glued to my box. Oops. <laughs> There we go. Pegs off. Now my little insert is going to fit inside. You might need a little bit of a fiddle. It's a snug fit but obviously you don't want it loose because you don't want it to be rolling around. But it, it, once it's in it is, as I say, a nice snug fit took my bow in. So there's my beautiful pen now sat in its little box and then as I said I'm going to put some DSP on this end bit now and then I'm going to pop my lid on just like so and there is my pen box all made up now because it is quite long you get this gaping in the paper and so to solve that that's why I decorated it the way I did so I have some of the beautiful crinkled seam binding the whisper white which I'm just going to tie <clears throat> around the center so I'm going to leave it like that for a moment because I need to make my decoration so I have some scrap whisper white I have my celebration sending you thoughts and I'm going with the sending a little something which I think is quite a nice little sentiment I'm going to stamp it in rich razzleberry just about there And then, oh, what have I done with those? Oh, is that them? Oh my goodness, what have I done with them? Okay, I've completely forgotten now. I'm hoping this is the right one. <laughs> yes, paint. <laughs> I have so many all prepped and ready in a pile and I've forgotten that I sort of reused stuff. Um, painted labels dies that go with the beautiful poppy suite this lovely little tag here so I'm just going to grab my die cutting machine and first off I'm just going to do oh that fits just nicely a coordinating piece so I'm just going to Whiz that one through and then I have my piece here with my sentiment on but I'm going to push that sentiment although I want it central I'm pushing it right to that end because I need to put a hole in this end so that's going on there run this one through oh crumbs something fell off the shelf Let's get rid of that and then there is my little sentiment. Let me just pop this away because I don't want to lose it. Okay, and then back in with my wonderful cropper dial. I'm actually going to place these two together. And then using the larger, no actually I didn't use the smaller of them. I've just gone in. It's so easy to use. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, 
there's the middle out so back with my box now then so I've tied the first bow or the first knot rather then I'm going to feed this through there and then I'm going to tie so I'm going to pull that now tight put my finger on it and this is where you become a bit of an octopus using lots of other fingers I'm just going to pull that tight as well so it's hold that in place and then I'm just going to open that out slightly and then obviously you can do your bow and now you can see why I didn't want to undo the bow on my other box because I think it would have gone crazily messy and I wouldn't have got it back so <clears throat> excuse me I'm just going to trim those edges very slightly come here just give those a trim and then on this one I thought was really pretty the flower faceted gems that go with the mosaic suite in the annual catalogue well these are pool party and they work perfectly with this and so I thought I'm going to go back in and use them with this suite and I'm actually going to use the same one because there are spots of pool party in this DSP too and then again just pull those apart very slightly and there is my pen box hope you like it not too hard to make but certainly very effective and if you've got somebody going off to uni or college um, or starting a new job and you want to get them a nice pen you can make them a nice box to go with it hope it's helpful for you you could always maybe put something else inside a letter opener or something anyway i'll let you imagine what you're going to put inside have a great day and i'll see you all again soon bye